Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. This is going to be my daily routine. This is basically what I do every day. Sometimes I don't do eyeshadow, but today I think I'm going to. I hope you enjoy this get ready with me. Sometimes I'll be fast forwarding through my makeup process. Sometimes I'll be showing you the products. Um, maybe I'll chat with you guys, we'll see. But anyways, I hope you enjoy the video and let's go. So first I already toned my face and I used the Thayer's Witch Hazel and I just use this to tone my face before I do anything else in my makeup routine. After I tone my face, I use a lotion because I have pretty dry skin especially during winter and I use the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This works great for my hands and my face and I just really love it and I always go back to it and I've been using it for years. So I'm just going to apply this lotion all over my face. Winter has me a bit stressed lately, so my skin is not the greatest right now, so hopefully that goes away soon. <laughs> I usually use a chapstick, so I'm using the Carmex Classic Lip Balm. I always use the Carmex Lip Balm because this helps me a lot during winter. It's super hydrating, some people hate the smell, but personally, I love it. I actually grew up with my dad using this a lot, so it kind of brings um, nostalgia to me. I'm actually going to be using a product that I've never used before, and I'm using the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. So we'll see how this works. I usually don't use primers. And it definitely has a grip to it, you can hear it. So my foundation should stick really well. And I know a lot of people love the beauty blenders. So I'm a person who personally does not like beauty blenders. I have never had a good luck with them. I'm going to try again today and see if I can actually enjoy this and actually do my makeup with this because I always use brushes. As for a foundation, you guys see what I use every time. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I have used this for maybe two to three years now and I love it. As for my under eye concealer, I use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I love this stuff. I've also been using this for many years. You can use it for under your eyes or anything. Now I'm going to set my under eyes and I always use the original formula Airspun Loose Face Powder. Always use this. I love it. I love the smell of it. It makes my makeup perfect. It's just perfect. And funny enough, I can only buy this stuff at Walmart. <laughs> so while my under eyes are sitting, I always do my eyebrows before I powder my whole face to let it bake under my eyes. So now I'm going to go on to what I also use every time, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Wrap Pomade in Medium Brown. It's my holy grail. After I fill in my eyebrows, I always shape them with the leftover foundation that I have with an angled brush. After I do my eyebrows, I always set my whole face with powder. So after I set my face, I usually go ahead with blush and highlighter. That's usually all I do. But since I'm doing this video and I might go out, I'm going to do eyeshadow. I'm going to use the infamous MAC Painterly Paint Pot. This helps with setting your eyeshadow. You always put it on before you put on eyeshadow, that way it always keeps it all day. So I'm just going to apply this to my eyelids. After I apply the eyeshadow primer, I always set it with the powder. The powder I use is the CoverGirl True Blend. And this is in shade number one. I always use this to set my eyeshadow primer. So for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using a couple of different eyeshadow palettes. I am going to be using the Lorac Unzipped palette. I've had this for a couple of years and it's always one that I go back to. So I'm just going to apply this darker brown in my crease and work that in. Now 
I'm just going to blend this out a little bit with my blending brush. This is a Sigma E40. And now I'm going to add a shimmery color. I'm gonna go to my second eyeshadow palette. And this is one that I've had since I was in high school. It's the Too Faced Natural Eye Eyeshadow Palette. I love this palette, it's so great for beginners, and I personally love the second tone, which is Classic Silk Teddy. This is a perfect all over the eyelid shade. The best way to apply eyeshadow all over the lid is with your ring finger. This is your most gentle finger, and eyeshadow goes on best with your fingertips. It looks very intense right now, but I'm going to blend it out soon. So this is what it looks like without blending it in or anything. So now I'm going to go back into my crease, blend it in with the other eyeshadow, and blend it out again. So now I'm done with my eyeshadow look. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with blush and highlighter. So the blushes I'm going to be using, the first one is the Balm in Stain Long Wearing Blush, and it's in the color Argyle. This was actually a gift from my best friend. This is a very, very pigmented blush. You have to be very careful with this. And the second blush is actually one that I've had for a while now, but I don't really use because it's very, very shiny. I thought I would try mixing it with the other blush. This is the MAC Beaming Blush Extra Dimension Skin Finish. This is so beautiful, especially in the light, but it's so shiny. To blend out the blush, I'm just going to use my regular powder brush and I'm going to be using a highlighter now and this is one of my favorite ever highlighters and it's the Balm Mary Luminizer. This is such a beautiful highlighter, very golden, very beautiful, especially in the sunlight. I'm going to apply this to my cheekbones. Now I'm going to blend it out a little bit because I go a little wild. Now I'm going to do my mascara and I'm going to set my eyebrows. I have two mascaras that I love a lot and I tried a new one recently in Texas and I've been loving it so much that I bought a new one. This is my second one so far. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Waterproof Mascara. I have found that all mascaras that aren't waterproof do not work on my eyelashes. They just fall down. So I have to use waterproof mascara. I do my eyelashes a little differently curling wise. You hate the eyelash curler. I just use a lighter and my eyelash curler. This is a Japanese eyelash curler. I'm going to heat that up. So I'm done with mascara, and now I'm going to move on to setting my eyebrows. To set my eyebrows, I always use the Clear Natural Lash Mascara. I use the CoverGirl Professional Natural Lash. This is just a clear brow gel slash mascara. My last and final step is always to apply a lip gloss or a lipstick. These days, I always keep in my purse the clear lip gloss. Um, it's my go-to, it adds a good shine, it's natural. The one I use is by M Cosmetics. Um, but today, I'm actually going to use a color. So I'm using the VT, VT21 Cream Lip Liqueur, number two vanilla pink. So now I'm going to apply. This is very bright, so I only use a little bit and then I pat it in with my finger. Like, look at that. <laughs> so the last step in my routine is that I always set my makeup with a makeup setting spray. And this one that I am using is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set. Um, I have been going back to this for years. So I'm just going to spray this all over my face. And I am done. And honestly, I <laughs> this look just makes me want it to be spring and warm so bad. It's so sunny outside right now, but it's also like 25 degrees. Especially with this lipstick, it like screams to me warm weather. This is a look that I will definitely go back to 
I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I usually don't do these often. I'm usually always doing recreations of characters. I'm really happy with it and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, maybe you learned some things, maybe you're just watching for fun. So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed and I hope you love this look. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and if you haven't, turn on that notification bell, okay? Thank you guys. Bye.